Welcome back everyone. So recently I've been testing out some wider extrusion widths with vase mode. This one is 0.8 millimeters, that's uh, two times the nozzle diameter that I'm using, 0.4 millimeters. This one I printed in one millimeter, which I think printed really, really well. And then over here, this is 1.2 millimeters, which is the widest that the Prusa slicer will let me go with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. I haven't found an override for it yet, although I am I haven't really looked into it that much, but um, that's uh, something I want to try and do is get thicker uh, extrusion width just for fun, really. Here you can see I was running into some significant cooling issues. Um, I was running at by the G-code is 40 millimeters per second, but I was running at 75% speed. So, what was that, 35 millimeters per second. 100% cooling. And I was still running into some heat issues, so I would either have to speed up or slow down, I'm not quite sure. Um, really just better cooling is what I need for that. But what I find pretty interesting is uh, just going up 0.2 millimeters each time here, the stiffness uh, is actually pretty significant. So, um, and the, the accuracy of these is also pretty good. This one is almost perfectly 0.8 millimeters. This one is uh, not quite as accurate in, in terms of extrusion width as this one. And I haven't measured this one yet. As you saw, I just popped it off the, uh, the FR4 here. So this is something I'm going to uh, continue to look into and try and get some larger or wider extrusion widths as well as I would like to get the uh, the CHT nozzle and probably like a 0.8 millimeter nozzle diameter because um, I'd, I'd like to try printing some heftier stuff and some larger vase mode prints. So until I get that sort of stuff this is kind of where I'm stuck for now so until then See ya.